Hi there, welcome to the next uh, look at our constellations and today we're looking at Perseus, the hero of Greek mythology. The constellation lies in the northern sky next to Andromeda and it's one of the larger northern constellations first catalogued by the astronomer Ptolemy back in the 2nd century. It's best known for its annual Persid meteor shower and also the famous variable star Algol. Perseus also contains a number of famous deep sky objects, Messier 34 and the Little Dumbbell Nebula. Let's start by looking at the major stars. Murfak, Alpha Persei, a supergiant star. It has a visual magnitude of 1.80 and is about 510 light years distant from us. It's the brightest star in Perseus and one of the brightest stars in our sky. It's located in a star cluster known as the Alpha Persei Cluster, which can easily be seen in binoculars. It has 7.3 solar masses, 60 times the size of the Sun, and about 5,000 times more luminous. Algol, or Beta Persei, the demon star, represents the head of the Gorgon, Medusa, and it's one of the best known stars in the sky. It was the first eclipsing binary star ever discovered, and one of the first variable stars found. It's actually a triple star system composing of the primary star, Beta Perse A, which eclipses Beta Perse B, and the apparent magnitude of the system is around 2.1, but it drops to 3.4 every 2 days, 20 hours, and 49 minutes, and stays dimmer for about 10 hours, which is how long the eclipse takes place. A secondary eclipse occurs when the primary component occults the dimmer star, Algol is a prototype for a class of stars known as the Algol variables. The discovery of Algol's binary nature and a close look at its components shook one of the fundamental beliefs in stellar evolution which says that stars' rate of evolution depends on their mass. For even though Algol A is more massive, it is still on the main sequence, while Algol B is less massive, yet already in the subgiant phase. The Algol system emits X-rays and radio wave flares. The X-rays are believed to be the result of the component's magnetic fields interacting. And it has an apparent magnitude, as we say, of 2.12 and is 92.8 light years distant. It passed within 9 light years of the solar system around 7.3 million years ago. And its apparent magnitude at that time was minus 2.5, which made it brighter than Sirius is in our current sky. Attic. Zeta Persei, a blue-white supergiant, is about 47,000 times more luminous than the Sun and it has an apparent magnitude of 2.86 and is about 750 light years away. The star has a ninth magnitude companion. Epsilon Persei, composed of several stars, the system has a combined visual magnitude of 2.88 and it's about 640 light years distant. The primary star is classified as a Beta Cephei variable. Now, one of the most famous things associated with the constellation of Perseus is the Persid meteor shower. One of the best and best known of all the meteor showers seen every summer from mid-July to late August in the Northern Hemisphere. And the shower peaks round about August the 13th when the rate of meteors can be over 60 an hour, usually happening just before dawn. The Persids are associated with the comet Swift-Tuttle, a periodic comet that has an orbital period of about 133 years. The comet has a solid nucleus 26 kilometers across, leaving a stream of debris known as the Persid Cloud along its orbit. And of course, when we pass through that cloud, we get the meteor storm. If I could pause for one moment and just say, please subscribe to this channel. It means a lot to me because it shows me that people are interested in what I'm doing. Also, it means a lot because YouTube see the subscriptions going up and realise that people like what I'm doing and, and they promote me as well. Let's continue. Deep sky objects in Perseus. Messier 34, an open cluster with a visual magnitude of 5.5, about 1,500 light years distant, and about 200 to 250 million years old, about 400 stars in it, and seven light years in radius. The Little Dumbbell Nebula, Messier 76, a planetary nebula. It has a visual magnitude of 10.1, is about 2,500 light years away from us. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, look at Perseus, the Greek hero. Um, stay tuned for the next uh, constellation. Until then, stay safe, dark skies, take care, and see you next time.
Bye for now.